Hey designers! I wanted to show you this awesome new plugin from our friends at Token Studio, which allow you to apply variables to elements on your screen, on your page, or in your document, uh, but in bulk. So I'm gonna dive into this little file I've prepared to walk you through the instructions really quick, and then we're gonna go through some examples. So there are two main options. You can swap styles with variables. So if you have elements on your page that have styles and now you want them to be variables in one click, you can do it all at the same time in bulk. As long as the names are the same, it will work, which is so cool. Second one is applying matching variables. So if you have these raw number values, you can convert them into a variable with the same value, which is pretty cool. And the way it works is we just have to make sure we have our value variables already populated either in our local file or in a non-team, uh, sorry, a shared team library, so non-local files. Um, and there's a note here on the scope of number variables, which I'll talk about in a second. And all we do is we select the elements on the page that we want. So like so, for example, run the plugin and choose which option you wanna go with. Are we swapping styles or are we going to do this, uh, apply matching variables, which is for numbers. Uh, then we're gonna select the library which has the variables in it that we want to apply them to. Um, we wanna select the collection from the variables we wanna apply and then we want to tell the plugin where to apply the variables um, and there are a couple of different options i'll explain once we go through this little demo and if you haven't already got the plugin hooked up you just go to the community page click this little guy here and it will now save it to your figma account and you can go ahead and use it so it's it's really that easy and to access your plugins you can do it through this resources menu here through plugins um, or what you'll see me do is use command line. So command P and I wanna go to apply variables. And uh, this plugin operates as a kind of command line looking uh, feature here. And what we wanna do is we wanna select styles with variables for this first one. And remember the first step was to select the option. So I'm gonna choose these two here and I wanna swap these styles for the variables that match. And if you look here, I have local variables and I have components. I have modes, which is my light and dark. And I have my primitives, which is kind of like all my options. And the buttons, uh, or these button looking things, have colors on them, which are pointing to and referencing the mode over here. So um, what I wanna have happen is I wanna change these from styles to variables, and then I wanna be able to use the mode switching from the variables. So. I am not going to move that around. I think sometimes, no matter what you do, it just wants to move them. <laughs> okay, uh, apply variables is already there, which is great. I want to swap these styles with variables, and as long as the names match, it will work. These are my local variables. So this is the library. Which collection? Component collection. And I want to just apply it to just the selection. Page will scan everything on your page, uh, and document will be every element on every page within your Figma file. So it could take a while. Also, you have a little less control and a little less ability to check to make sure if things work. So just do yourself a favor and do selection. It'll be easier on, on your sanity for sure. Um, so I'm going to click selection, and you can see it happens pretty fast. Four nodes updated, and these are now using variables. And you can tell that because they have these square previews versus these ones here are round cool so that worked just great and now what I want to do is I want to play with that second feature which is matching um, raw numbers that are dimension properties that are entered into these panels here with the variables that match and so if I look at my local variables and I go into components you can see that I have a bunch of different number variables um, set up here. And the way that the plugin works is it's scanning within the variable scope first and choosing which ones match. So what do I mean by scope? If you right click on any variable, 
and you can see it has this number scoping. And what I wanna do is, for example, I'm not using the cards in this file, so I'm just gonna go and turn those completely off. And uh, border radius, I only want that to show up in corner radius. Border width doesn't have a property yet, so I'm just gonna turn this off so I have less options. Um, item spacing would be a gap property for auto layout and padding would also be a property for gap in auto layout and minimum height here would be a width and height um, to uh, token or, or variable to apply here. And if you don't do this scoping exercise first, what happens is the plugin just finds too many things that have the same values in the end and just gets confused. So do yourself a favor, not only will it clean up the plugin, but also when you're going to look at applying a variable, if I click in on here, I only have the variables that match my intended property. So, you know, I'm only seeing the, the, the variables that I want for the things that I want to apply them to. So just do yourself the favor and, and do it. Um, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to try that other option of matching these, these values. And I wrote myself some notes here. So A should match variables because they're all the same. So I have 16s here and I have 8s here and I know because I built my variables that they're going to match those variables. B, uh, which is this button here, gap and border should match, padding should not because if I look here I have the, the padding values are, are 12 and I know that I've set that at 16 within the variables. C, um, we're looking at these two matching and this one not because they're 16 and this one doesn't. And in D, nothing should show up as variables because on this component collection, none of these will match. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to select all my options again. Command P. And with command line style inspired plugins, what happens is it just shows you the last thing you've ran, which is the exact settings I just did, but that's not what I wanna do because I wanna try that other option. So instead I'm gonna just pretend like that's not there and restart the flow over. And I wanna to go to apply matching variables. We're calling this auto fix, which is fun. I'm gonna click this and I'm looking at my local library. It's the only one I have available to me. And I'm looking at the component collection. There's gonna be too many in these two. I don't wanna go there. I just wanna apply the component level variables from that collection. And I just wanna scan this selection here. And it's saying, okay, 12 nodes or properties were updated and 12 don't have a matching variable, which is what I expected because we just went through all of this, right? And so if I look over at D, which remember nothing should match, I'm not seeing a variable applied anywhere here, right? That little icon is not showing, it doesn't have the box around it. If I look at C, which should have sh some showing and some not, I'm seeing the box here, so there are variables there. B, there's a variable here but not here, and A will have variables all across the board, which is super cool. Now, one thing I wanna call out is if you have variables within your list, which will be easier to explain here, that have the same properties. So for example, item spacing is set at 16 and padding is set at 16. And I have these set up to all be available for auto layout. It doesn't really know which one to pick. It just goes with the first one. So if you have variables with the same value, what you're gonna see is it's not gonna know. It's just gonna pick one. So how do we see which one it is? We go to apply variable and it tells us, okay, it chose the item spacing for all of them because it was the first one in the list. So I may wanna go in and manually change these to be the right named variable for, um, my use case here, which is, you know, you either do it or you don't. That's a personal choice. Uh, I'm very organized, so I do it. And now we're going to test the non-locals variables, which is really cool. So if you'll recall, very button A over here has the variables applied. C just has styles applied. And I've got this library published and over in this test locals file, I've got this library enabled and I've got um, another library brand B enabled. So I've got a couple libraries in here and I'm going to pull these over. So remember the, the lighter one is the one with the variables already applied. And this one here is styles only. This will help us with the naming over here. 
This one is already set up and ready to go. So if I hit the layers list, I can just change the modes from uh, light to dark, which is pretty cool. But this one here with the, with the styles applied, um, if I use the plugin and I apply st variables and I have this selected and I swap styles with variables and I go to brand B and I choose the component level and I wanna just do selection, what happens is that it allowed me to apply very or swap the style with the same name to a library with different variables altogether. So this, as you can see, it could become pretty powerful because as long as the style names match the variables in another library, you can apply those variables. So you can have one component library um, that could be managing an infinite number of brands as long as the names of the styles match the names of the variables one-to-one, -one, which is so cool. Um, and of course, the non-local variables applying and matching also works for um, those number of variables that we were looking at before. So have fun playing and checking it out. Uh, let me know what you think of the plugin or if you have any questions. It's pretty cool. I'm super excited at all the ways. It's going to make my life a lot easier.